king said, your time has come. All that bullshit, all that being fake behind closed doors, it's time to bring it to the light. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy. It's your boy, Bless TV in this bitch, man. And we back with another motherfucking video. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. I ain't gonna talk y'all ear off too much. As y'all can see, man, it's been a lot of beef going around between Nate So Ugly and King Sid. I was gonna do reaction to Nate's video, that's coming soon, but Sid just dropped a reaction to Nate's video. Well, not to Nate's video, but a reaction basically to the situation, to what people been hitting him, up, hitting him up about, basically. And yeah, so I'm gonna react to him, what he say. You know, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm really interested to see what he got to say. Cause Nate's video was crazy. He made a lot of allegations about Sid, and you know, I'm not gonna lie. The way he was talking, I feel like it was true. Cause Nate don't really do all that, you know, all the extra shit. So yeah, we gonna dive straight into the video. So let's get to it, man. Drop a like on this video, drop a comment on this video if y'all fuck with me, man. We on the road to 1K, let's get it. I feel like this shit finna be crazy. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm waking up to a whole bunch of comments and, and tags and I'm fake and I'm gay and a whole bunch of shit. So this video right here is just me responding to it. You could lower that a little bit real quick. Responding to what I've seen. I haven't seen no videos. I've seen a vi videos posted about me, but... This is just me telling y'all my side of the story of, of, of what happened. I'm not saying nothing, um, responding to nobody, no nothing. I'm telling y'all my side of the story so y'all can see it through how I see it, why I stopped being friends with certain people. A lot of people are not going to see it like this, but shit, you feel me? So, first of all, this is how I want to start off. They saying I'm gay, everything. They posting a, a TikTok. For, for, for y'all to understand what that is, they posting a TikTok that I did with my ex-girlfriend that I posted. I was trying to go viral when I was younger. I shouldn't have. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen it, the picture was a little crazy. It was crazy. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here, somewhere on here, so y'all can see what he's talking about, bruh. But the picture was wild. Like me personally, I would never hey man. But let's keep it going. Let's hear what he gotta say. I've done that TikTok. But it was a flip it TikTok switch, a flip it thing that was going viral with a whole bunch of creators. I did it with my ex. You can see the video, you see it, my ex was right there. Now you know I ain't gay. Now, for them to even bring that up, us. No, you ain't gay. Okay, Sid. Stop. All my right. friends, stop. It happened over a girl. So, of course, you know I'm not gay. You're trying to make me look bad. That's how y'all started this whole thing off. To make me look bad. Plus, we've been stopped being friends months ago, months ago, and now y'all bringing this back up when I'm doing my own thing. Like, nah, hell no, nah, we're not gonna do that. So, this all started over a girl, bro. And this, sh you should never end up your friendships over a girl. But let me tell you how Suave brought over a girl, uh, to, uh, a girl to the a last two. crib. A two man. Crib. It was like 4 a.m. He brought her over, and she came with a friend. Now, that Two girl's man, yeah. name is Kenzie. Now, if you've seen me or you know my history, Kenzie's the like, one of the last girls I talked to. The girl, the, the girl on the vlog channel, I said my ex, this and that. I mean, not my ex, my, my, my girlfriend. So, this is what happened with this story right here. Suave brought her over for him, right? And she came with a, a, a girl. The, it, was a, it was a white girl, right? She, 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 her name was, I don't know what her name was, Lydia, her name was Lydia, yeah, yeah, her name was Lydia, so, Lydia kept, damn, bro, Sid be stuttering like a motherfucker, bro, god damn, like, say what you trying to say, niggas is confused, um, what's it called, we, we play trooper there, Lydia goes ahead, and, and she was there, and Kenzie, like, I dare you to kiss Suave on the cheeks, I dare you to, but Kenzie wasn't going for none of that, so then we keep playing, we keep playing, then she dared her to do one more thing. So what Kenzie did was she went to the bathroom and when she came back, she sat across. When she sat across, I'm like, oh shit, she's not interested in Suave. I said that in my head. So what I did, I texted Suave. I said, yo, let me get right. 
And I seen her cat looking at me. Now I'm telling y'all, I swear to God on my mama, on my dad, I'm telling y'all every single detail right now. I'm not lying about nothing. I'm telling y'all the truth right now. So boom, fast forward. She was into me. That same night, I greased. I greased the same night, right? Now I'm not trying to talk. I don't talk about none of this. I'm not trying to tell me. I got to tell y'all my side of the story. End up greasing that night. Now look, I just broke up with my ex. I am a lover boy, fam. Okay, listen. Well, it hit me hard. Okay, now she over. Come on, that boy said he a lover boy. Said we know what you be doing, twin. Come on, bro. Come on, family. Yeah, this and that. That's I not your history. So what I'm gonna do is talk to a new girl. Oh, listen. Well, y'all can say cut for hold, whatever y'all wanna say. I, I'm telling y'all what I did. Started talking to her. Not. Really talking to her like, oh my god, I'm a wife for you. Talking to her as in like, we vibing. Like, okay, you making me forget about my ex. Feel me? Boom. End up vibing for a long time. And then boys, like she never went home from the day, that the, that night she came from the trooper there. So we end up vibing. Then boys started seeing her over and over at the crib. Like without leaving, they go and try to tell me some stuff about her for me to get mad and like try to like make her leave. Y'all want me to tell y'all what she said so y'all know I'm not lying about shit. I'm telling y'all. They was telling me she was just with... Man, I, ain't, I don't even give a fuck. They, they, they was telling me she was with Spotty. Got him like two weeks two weeks before she was at the crib. This and that. They wanted me to stop talking to her. Now I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. She ain't just leave my house and go talk to bruh. That's what she did two weeks before me, bro. At the end of the day, fam, nigga not trying to think of my ex. No, none of that. Right now, I'm just trying to get in a new mode and just... You feel me? I ain't give a fuck. I still, you know, still kept around. Now, this is what... I ain't gonna lie. We four minutes in. Sid not talking about a goddamn thing, man. I'm gonna cut this shit off in a second. What happened right here? I kept her around. They know she wasn't going nowhere. I swear to God, point, I'm not lying to you. Listen to me. Suave starts talking to a girl I used to talk to. Her name is Artika. Curly hair girl, light skin girl. I even post a little snap if y'all want me to on my Instagram story so I can show y'all. Suave start talking to her. So Suave start talking to her. It's not an issue with me. I'm not I'm not jealous. You could talk to her. You could you feel me? Do what you want to do. Look, by talking to her, we go on a yacht one day and Suave brings her on the yacht. This is a yacht everybody put in and, and, and chipped in for, right? And we all on that yacht. All right, I'm confused. I'm, I'm waiting for him to bring up Nate. Now, respectfully, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I done been in like three King Sid videos. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just kick energy like, man, fuck shit, shit weird as fuck. But I do feel like in, in Nate's reaction videos, like not his reaction videos, but his, you know, truth videos about the situation that got going on. I really do feel like what Nate was saying might be, it might be some truth behind it because of how he is. Like if y'all know Nate, man, he, you know, he be on some chill shit. He don't really do too much. He don't do the drama. He don't do the going on social media. Even even when they was having like when it was situation going on with Gio and Diamond and all them, Nate really never even spoke on a lot of that stuff. He just stayed out the way, you know, looked out for his peoples because that I mean, that's how he is. So fuck with Sid as far as like, you know, we be we be working and shit, but I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I'm going to hear him out. I'm going to hear the whole thing. But I'm just saying like, I don't know what Nate was saying. Seemed like it was some truth behind it. But listen, and he, 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 ain't, he ain't brought Nate up yet, so we gonna see. Music did not work, did not work the whole time. So we trying to tell the captain, bro, you can't do that. You can't have us on the yacht and, and the music not working. So I said, bro, ain't gonna lie, you got to give us a discount next time for another ride or something, bro. So he said, y'all can have the yacht for half off an, um, another day. I said, bet, let us get it for two days from now, which was, I think it was on a Wednesday because I had a video shoot. So I posted a flyer. I posted a flyer with, with um two yachts on it. I said, y'all come to the video shoot. We're going on the yacht on the yacht after. Boom. Okay. It's video day, right? Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me pause right there. I swear to God. Let me pause right there. Let me pause right there. When Suave brought that girl to the yacht, I forgot to tell you this. And I have videos of this shit too. Not videos of the girl. I have videos of me downstairs with the girl on the bottom of the yacht. So look. I'm with Kenzie on the yacht. I go downstairs. I go downstairs, right? Now, remember, I told you I used to talk to the girl Suave talking to now, right? Go downstairs with Kenzie in the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I'm greasing. I'm in there. I'm greasing. I'm in there for a minute. I put this on my life, well, on my mama, on my daddy, well. 
She go come and knock on the door, whoa. She come in, and I hear just somebody knocking on the door, whoa. I don't know who it is. I'm just telling y'all who it is because I know after. Knocking, 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 knocking. But after, bro, I, 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 I'm done. Come out. The captain now is trying to knock on the door, whoa. Fam, let me tell you, whoa. There was a chair like the, 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 the door right here. The door right here. There's a chair over there, whoa. When I open the door, the girl I used to talk to, Artika, that's here for Suave, It's sitting right here while the captain trying to open the door. Oh yeah, they've been there for a long time. They've been there for a long time. I swear to God, my mama, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth right now. So boom, that's that right there. I see, okay, boom. She, she want my attention. Nothing happened at y'all, nothing happened at y'all. No, nah, that was kind of weird though. Like why Shawty basically saying they've been in a, the, 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 for a long time. Like you supposed to be here for Swale. Why are you down here messing with, you know, worried about what Sid got going on? With his, his little vibe, you feel me? So, all right, see it. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. The, the Two days from there, when we got the yacht again, because we didn't have no music, I paid for that yacht because I had a video shoot. I paid for that whole yacht that, 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 the second time. Not the first time, the second time. So, when it was video time, it, we needed 10 girls and 10 guys, right? We only had seven girls in the lineup. Now, Suave brought Artika to the video shoot, right? And she came with some friends, this and that, right? We, we had seven girls in the lineup, but we needed extra girls. I said, yo, ladies, we need, we need extra females for the video. This and that. They was acting bougie. They was acting pretty. They was acting like they didn't want to be in the video. So what I did was I said out loud, and I put this on everything I love. Boy, I ain't not lying to you. I said out loud, I was like, bro, if you're not in the video, if you're not in the video, you cannot come on the yacht. You can't come on the yacht. I ain't gonna lie. The, 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 the y'all only put the people in the video. Boom, they ended up not being in the video. So fast forward, fast forward. We all go to the yacht, right? We all go to the yacht. And I swear to God, the, the girls, they the first three. It's three of them. It's, 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 it's a black girl. It's another curly hair girl that looks like Artika. And then it's Artika, right? So they, they, they literally are the first ones to try to come up. I'm already on the yacht. And I say, no, watch out, watch out. And I say, watch out, y'all not coming on, y'all not coming on. I say, everybody, everybody that was in the video, come on, please, come first, come on. Let everybody come on. If there was girls from the video right there that could confirm, they would confirm with y'all. I swear to God, I'm not capping to y'all. So listen to this. That's where, um, we, they all go on the yacht. Now, yachts are limited people, so I go ahead and tell the captain. I said, these all my people right here. After that, I don't know if it's limited. I don't know you could do it. Whatever you need to do. And, and the girls still ain't come on. They were still on the bottom, on, on, on the dock. So that's when... I moved, because you know I'm not going to stay there security, I'm trying to have fun. I moved, and then I guess them boys told the captain, can they come on or they paid them extra? I'm not sure, you feel me? I'm not going to spread no details that I don't know about. But they ended up coming on the yacht. Now this is where it all went down. This is where it all went down, all right? So, hold on, bro. Hold on. Damn, this is hell and aggressive fuck, but nah, I feel that shit. Hit that blunt, man. So we on the yacht. And I swear to God, bro, I gotta keep swearing to y'all because y'all think I'm lying and I'm not lying about none of this. This and listen, this, this y'all gonna hear my end of this on the story. Watch, watch this. So we on the yacht. I'm I like the fuck, well. That's I gotta tell y'all, especially if I'm on the yacht. Twin, 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 twin. twin. You said you like the fuck, right? But didn't you just say you're a lover boy? Shit not enough. You know it, buddy. I, I'm with Kenzie again, bruh. I go, and this is with the yacht, I got fucked up. Like, I, was, I had Polaroid pictures of me fucked up. Like, I'm fucked up, right? At the end, I was fucked up. Listen, well, I go downstairs with Kenzie while I'm chilling and I'm calling, like, you feel me? This is, like, in the beginning kind of stage, right? So, I'm downstairs with Kenzie, but this time I'm in there for a long motherfucking time, like a long time, bruh. And, bruh, 
I swear to God, the same thing happens again from the from two days ago. I hear knocking and knocking and knocking, and I hear a lot of shit, bro. And I just keep hearing it, woo. So I get out, and I'm mad now, bro. And I say, bro, what the fuck, bro? And I see it's the same girls, woo. But this time, it was the black girl that was leading them. The the, the, the other, the third home, bro. She wasn't there the first time. She came to, she came the uh, second time. She comes, bro. And she's like leading the way. And I, I swear to God on my life, I did not hit this girl. I put my hand out and I say, why y'all keep fucking playing, bro? I'm tired of y'all fucking playing. And the thing is, they was trying to get in, in, in the girl. I was talking Kenzie's head because, you know, you feel me? I used to talk to Artika. Now, you know, girls, girls, girls be messy, bro. So my thing is, I tell the girl, I say, why the fuck y'all keep playing? Stop fucking playing, bro. Y'all keep playing, bro. Stop playing. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Y'all keep doing this from the last y'all. I'm mad. My hands in their face. Stop playing. And plus, I, if you, look, I'm overprotected type of person. If you would try to mess with anybody I'm with, a girl I'm with, I'm not going to let that slide. You got you, you got to do it to me too then. You feel me? So, I'm with her. What? Well, you can call me Captain save a You can call me Superman for anything you want. If I'm with the fum talking to her, I'm not going to let somebody come mess with her or try to bully her. What what, what I'm going to look like? Like a dweeb ass nigga? No, how, I'm not gonna let that do it. The girl wasn't doing nothing to them. She never said nothing to them to be in these, these, these uh, issues, whatever they got going on. You feel me? So, boom. Nate come out of nowhere, whoa. Nate come out of nowhere. This is where Nate come into the story, bro. This, this, this the part I've been waiting on. This the part I've been waiting on, man. He just brought up Nate. He ain't brought up Nate. All 11 minutes. We at 11.52. He brought up Nate. So we really gonna see what the fuck going on. And I hope, I hope he touch up on the whole them all living together situation. But let's, let's ride up. He comes out of nowhere, mad as fuck. And, and I think he did that because the, the black girl that, he, that that was there, that's the girl he was talking to, whoa. Never hit the girl, whoa. Put my hand in her face. Yes, for sure. Don't mess with somebody when I'm with them. What the fuck? You, I was down there minding my business. Y'all came in my business of my, to, to, no, don't do that. So Nate come out of nowhere. <sighs> huffing and puffing. <sighs> I'm tired of y'all always dead riding this man. Y'all always picking this man's side. Y'all always everything. Y'all never see no wrong in what he do. He just hit her. Y'all always defending this man. He just talking crazy without knowing what happened, woo. So you know what I do? I say back, fam. Look, well, I, look. I told Nate, I ain't gonna lie. We all lived in the same house at the time. I said, I ain't gonna lie, Nate. You gotta get the fuck up out of this crib, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, love, bro, no, bro, no, no, hell no, nah, bro. So, one, I don't know how Suave fit in all this because he keeps saying, you know, Artika, Artika, if that the girl name, this this the girl Suave messing with, but I'm not seeing, you know, he not saying Suave saying nothing, he not doing nothing, so I don't know. I don't know if they still cool or not, but that's crazy i don't think they is though but that's that's wild then you gonna sit here and be like nate gotta get out the crib come on family that's that's like this supposed to be your boy like he mad because you you got your hand in the face of the girl he he fucking with like why you doing all that like i'm not gonna lie though nate said fam launched his hand at her though and and, and, and you know what i'm saying so because sid did say he was fucked up so he might not know what he did. You feel what I'm saying? Gotta, you know, gotta be respectful about it. And I said that because I was leaving too. I didn't just say that for me to stay in the crib and, and this and that. Look, we fell out over that situation right there. Don't act like I've been a flawless friend the whole entire time, this and that. No, we fell out over that situation right there. You know why? Because I told Nate, bro, I'm tired of I ain't gonna care. I know for a fact Sid watch Nate's videos, bro. He, he talking about I'm not addressing directly. Bro, I get you got tagged and a whole bunch of shit, but see, let's be real, bro. You watch Nate's videos. You had to, bro. It's no way all y'all sat there and didn't watch what he had to say. Y'all watch what he had to say, bro. Are you picking the opposition side? Well, you don't even know what happened. You don't even know what they've been doing to me for you to come and try to make me look like a bad guy for you try, try to defend this girl because you taught her. Fam, if I'm Captain Save oh, you Captain Save oh, you saving her without even knowing what happened, well, without knowing they coming down to me to mess with me, fam. So at the end of the day, I'm like, bro, hell no, nah, well, you picking all these other people's side. If, if, if it comes to betting or picking basketball teams, this and that, Nate always trying to pick the opposite side. 
And that's fine. You could do that on personal things. But when it comes to these situations where it's serious, well, where you don't know what happened, don't come dive in without knowing what happened, fam. It's like you trying to make me look bad and you don't even know they came to me. They came forcing shit on me, fam. I wasn't out my way touching none of these girls, doing anything to these girls. No, whoa. Well, I was minding my business with the girl I used to talk to. And then these girls came and messed with me. You didn't know that, fam. You came snapping on me. So what I did is was like, I can't be y'all friends no more. Y'all boys want to pick whole side, this and that, over, y'all doing all this because I didn't stop talking to Kenzie, whoa. Y'all hate me, y'all have animosity over me because who I'm talking to. Fam, listen, whoa, y'all say J Wonder a dick rider, this and that. Y'all don't know how what I be going through. Y'all don't know I got feelings too. Y'all boys don't come in and check on me, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, this and that. What if I'm talking to this girl because I'm... I'm, I'm broken inside because literally I'm trying to figure out what else I could do in my life, bro. I just got out of a relationship on a girl I really, really love. Y'all never try to talk to me and see how I feel. Y'all never see why I'm talking to somebody. Y'all never see that if somebody's making me feel good, why do I have to let them go? You feel me? No, bro. So all this animosity built through all of that, bro. And nah, see, Nate, see, I got to back Nate up on this, though. Because Nate did address that Sid was... Basically saying, like, acting like his dad, like, getting mad. And he showed messages that, like, Nate couldn't bring nobody over there. So that's where, that's, see, that's where the animosity happened because you was telling this nigga he couldn't even be on the phone. But you went on a two-man with this girl and then you let her stay. You just said you went on a two-man and she ain't go home from the time that y'all did the two-man. She stayed with you. Come on, family. You can't blow on this nigga about being on the phone. And they paying rent. And, and and this supposed to be everybody crib. And this nigga's on the phone. But you you got this girl laid up in, in, in the crib with all of them, bro. You wrong. Family, you wrong. Because I cut them boys off. Because that, that little situation right there. Because um, over a girl. Because I see y'all picking sides without knowing. Y'all boys have something against me. That's why I stopped being friends with them. Well, don't act like I've been a flawless friend the whole time. And then everybody's saying, oh... Oh, Nate, Nate was there for you the whole time, this and that. Listen, bruh. Yes, Nate was there for me the whole time. I said that before. Nate helped me so much. Even when we was at the Steve's crib, Nate, every, Nate edited every single vlog. I'll never take that away from him. He helped me so much. I paid him for the vlogs, though, right? On top of that, fam, Nate came back to YouTube because of me. And I never told y'all that. I never said anything about that. I never rubbed my hands on it, whoa. I told him uh. that probably after he acted like a whole ass nigga. I said, bro, you going to do this to me after everything I did for you, fam? You was working at a call center, whoa. You're, you're fucking YouTube. And tell him to show y'all this if I'm lying. We'll tell y'all to show y'all this. Tell him, that, tell him to show y'all this. You're YouTube for six months. It says zero dot zero with some cents. You didn't make over a dollar on YouTube. So what did I do, bro? I put my hand out for y'all. I was like, bro. Fam, you can't be working at no call center, bro. You got to be in some type of area with YouTube. You got to come back to YouTube, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is not what you're supposed to do. I swear to God on my life, bro. On my grandma that's dead, on my mama, on my daddy. I swear to God I'm telling y'all the truth right now. I said, fam, you can't be working at no call center. Well, you too big for this, bro. And I felt bad from the bottom of my heart, bro. This man was not even on YouTube. And it's crazy, bro, that this man wasn't on YouTube. He stopped. He quit doing YouTube while I kept going. And now he's trying to take my YouTube channel away from me. Hell no, look, well, the man wasn't doing YouTube. I said, you got to come back to do YouTube. So what did I do? I let him use my brand new camera. I let him use my net brand new camera. I let him use my brand new idea, find your match. I set up the studio and the people for him. And let me tell you what happened, whoa. The, the Cardi, my thumbnail designer, I said, yo, make the thumbnail exactly alike, whoa. I, I, shared, I shared the video on my community. I shared it on my vlogging community. I made everybody share it, whoa. The video went fucking viral, whoa. The, that same month from making zero, zero every single month, Nate made $5,000 that month. Tell him show you the revenue. Sh tell him show you the revenue so you can see I'm not lying to you. And then, bruh, it's like, okay, we all vibing, we doing good. We making videos at, at, at the other crib too. This is not the Steve's crib, this is the crib before. We making uh, videos there. His, his channel going up, he, he, he's finding himself. He's finding himself again. Now, the same way you helped me when I first started, I helped you come back into YouTube. So don't act like we didn't help each other, fam. I just didn't sit there telling everybody that you that, that I did that for you. You feel me? But you feel me? So with that situation, bro, it's like all of that shit started getting to his head. Then you picking, like, uh, people other side without even seeing me through. I'm like, nah, hell nah, bro. So...
ended up and and they and, and and look, let me tell you another bro. Thing. This nigga said, bro. This nigga said is literally like, bro. We understand. We understand that that you help Nate. You feel me? Like you help Nate get back on the tube. That's cool. That's that's good. That's gravy. But stop trying to take like take away from this man. Like this man got back on there himself, bro. You gave him some advice and he got back on his shit. That's that's what any friend gonna do, bro. He, this this man is not pointing out. The whole stealing money from them, basically taking money from them, not paying them. The the way he was acting towards this man about calling, being on the phone with a chick or bringing somebody over to the crib. They all supposed to be sharing, paying, renting. And then on top of everything else, like, you just pointing out the little shit. Like, hey, this, this nigga annoying. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. This nigga annoying. This is another thing that went on through this moment right here. My cameraman, which is Willie, he was responsible for my camera. Me and Willie got into it. I might seem like a bad person. I have issues of why I got mad. I have reasons of why I got mad. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Willie, I'm not saying he lost it, but he was in, in charge of it. We lost a, a, a fucking... I, ain't gonna lie, I know they want to smoke. This man has been holding the blunt for a minute, bro. <laughs> he been holding the blunt for a minute. I know how I be though. When you get to talking and you smoking, bro, like that shit gonna go out. You're not gonna like that bitch, and you're just gonna be talking with the blunt in your hand, like. Thirty thousand dollar camera case with cameras and every memory card I ever made of my YouTube career, bro. I lost it. Willie was in charge of it. Let me tell you what happened. Went to to the store, and we came back. We came back um, at the store. We, we we put something in the back of the car. Then we went somewhere. When we went somewhere, we opened the trunk again. It was like five minutes ago. We were supposed to go to Orlando. We didn't notice. I mean, we noticed the camera wasn't there. Now, we look. We look. We're we looking for the camera, and, and Willie, Willie doesn't know where the camera's at. So, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I already had, like, previous issues with Willie, plus me losing $30,000. I said, Willie ain't gonna lie. We can't work together no more, bro. I said, bro, I'm losing too much, bro. Like, too much is happening right now, so... That's what happened with, with me and him. Before anybody tries to say I'm a bad person, this and that. Sometimes you got to move on from working with people or, or move on from relationships. And that's what people don't understand. I, they didn't... If, if I was such a bad person too... And, and me and Willie are cool right now, you feel me? This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just telling y'all, if they try to make paint a bad picture on me, saying, oh, I'm flawed to my friends, this and that. No, we had issues because I lost a $30,000 camera case that had everything I ever recorded on YouTube. Had all my mics, had two cameras in there, had my picture camera in there, had my, um, what's it called, what was it? It was a Polaroid in there. It had so much stuff that was valuable to me that it hurt me to lose that. So I just said, fuck it, I gotta move on. So that's why you see me with a, a new uh, camera person. I'll be real. If I lost all that, I'd be tight too. <laughs> I'd be tight too, right, for real. I mean, me and Willie are still cool as friends, but business-wise, business, you got to make changes. So that's what I'm telling you. That part, for me, that got nothing to do with anybody. Me and Willie solved that already. We talked. We still ain't got, we good with each other. Them boys, them boys unfollowed Willie and, and all of this because Willie started talking to me because me and Willie was able to talk about stuff. That's why them boys came on the internet to tell y'all these stories while I'm still doing my thing. And, and we've been stopped being cool months ago. Them boys want to come on the internet. Now they see me and Willie cool. They see I never went back to be cool with them. Now they want to bring out these stories and make me look bad. How did they start off the story? They started off saying I'm gay. You know I'm not gay. If I was gay, this wouldn't have been a problem right now because this all started over the girl Suave brought over that wanted me. And, 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 and Nate, you know I'm not gay. Because the hoe you brought over, she fucked me and you slept with her after. I didn't know you brought her. And then you slept with her after and I told you I fucked. And then that's when that's why you have some type, some sort of animosity towards me. And you got animosity towards Jay Wonder because when we was in Charlotte and the girl, the, your best friend, we told you about that friendly ass shit with these girls. You probably the faggot. Don't call me no faggot. That friendly ass shit you do with these girls. She friends on your ass when you met her in I ain't gonna lie, he lost me. He fucking lost me. Why? He's wilding right now. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're saying the wrong things. Like, as a... Bro, I know this... Bro, I'm not even as a, a, a big a content creator as Sid, clearly. But come on, my G. You're saying crazy shit right now. Like, this is... They're gonna clip half of this damn video and keep posting you, twin. You gotta get it together. Charlie, and what happened?
Jay Wonder Breeze because she wanted Jay Wonder. Girls don't like to be friends though, stupid. So yeah, that that's why you don't like Jay Wonder too. All that he's a dick rider, this and that, whatever you you gotta say, you can keep that to yourself. But anyway, on top of all of this, bro. <laughs> shit crazy. Then when when we leave in the crib and shit. When we when we leave in the um when we leave in the um Steve's crib and stuff, when I told them they gotta get out, cause I moved too from there. I was not gonna live in that place. I was not happy with them boys. I didn't wanna be part of that where everybody has animosity towards me. That's why I moved out. That's why I kept doing my own thing. You see how I keep doing my own thing and I go on tour and everything. Now they wanna bring these things. I bet this is a whole new house I've been lived in, well. This problems occurred with the last house. You bringing these problems up now? No, listen. So I told him, I said, I ain't gonna lie, y'all gotta leave. Then, when they left, I mean, uh, when they left, I left too that same month. I, it's not like I stayed in that house. It's not like I try to profit from the brand. I don't post nothing on that page. I never posted nothing with nobody else after they left. You feel me? So if I was trying to profit, I was not trying to profit. There was nothing to profit from there. We just got monetized. We probably made like what, one thousand five hundred. We just got monetized. Come on now, I, w there's nothing to profit from. The fuck. Um, we left and then. It was like two, two. Uh, it was a like couple days left, and I and and I don't know. I texted Nate. I was like, "Bro, you gotta leave, bro. Like, make sure you, your stuff out by today, cause you know, time to turn the keys back into the to the owner." Nate ends up texting me. Oh, you saying you made me? You gotta show me you made me this and that. Blah, say blah. This he just talking crazy to me. So. I end up sending him. This is when he said he got jumped. Cause people saying I jumped him this and that. Send, end up sending my current location to his ass. How much time I got? Four minutes. I'm gonna end it before four minutes. End up saying my current location to his ass while I'm at the barber because he kept talking crazy. And I said, I'm not gonna fight you. Now, mind you, we was going to Tampa the next day and I was just getting a haircut. I got a haircut and I get a black tape and everything. So you feel I'm not, I told him I'm not gonna fight. I'm not trying to fuck up my little black tape and shit. So, oh, and my camera about to die. So, Ends up still pulling up. Swear to God on my life on my mama. Let me talk quick real quick. Swear to God, everything I love, he come in, he say, uh, you say you made me? He's like, he's not fully crying, but he's like huffing and puffing. Swear to God, I, I put this on my life, fool. <laughs> you say you made me? You want to show me you made me? Now, I'm squared up with him walking around like this. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm not going to fight you. I said, I'm not going to fight you. So then, I'm with J1 and Money T and EJ. Now, it's EJ and Nate by themselves. There, it's not nobody else. So, Jeff and them boys was not there. This is when they said I spit on him after. I'm going to tell you all of this. So, Money Team and EJ, they started fighting. So, after that, Nate comes like closer to me and I punch him in the shit. Punch him in the shit, I promise, bro. So, then he's still walking toward me. It's a big guy, you feel me? Still walking toward me. Bop, bop. Hit him again. Hit him again, right? Now, swear he comes with his head down, fam. He comes with his head down and he, he, the big nigga, listen. He comes on top of me and he, uh, I'm on the floor this way now. I'll show you real quick. He'll talk to me just like this. Now he's not hitting me or nothing. He's not throwing no punches. This nigga is doing way too much, bro. Like, now he's on the ground. <laughs> he's on the ground and showing y'all the fight. Like, dude, we don't need to see none of this shit. We need to know what the fuck. Like, is you putting your hands on women? Is you goddamn, is you doing your friends wrong? You kicking them out the crib? You stealing motherfuckers' brands and shit? Like, come on, bro. Like, you over here. Reenacting a fight, yeah, punch him in shit, I punch him in shit. It's two. We got two minutes left. I don't even know if Twin gonna goddamn comment about how. Like, I, I, I really wanna know how long it's gonna take him to talk about spitting on Jeff and that whole situation. So we gonna see. But he said he finna he finna talk about it. So let's let this nigga do this bullshit he doing. Cause what the fuck? Nothing. His fucking head is just on me, just laying his heavy ass body on me. He laying his heavy ass body on me, he not getting up. Hell yeah, oh, well, we don't fuck with you. Wonder came behind him, bah, bah, hit him in his fucking head. Fuck you on me for anyway. I ain't not told you I was gonna fight you. You don't want that mad at me, cause we gotta break up the leader crib. No, don't be mad at me. Plus, we shouldn't even have been fighting. I'm going on the video. Okay, what don't really make sense to me is how the fuck you say y'all not fighting, y'all not gonna be fighting, but you sent the, you sent the nigga your drop. You sent him your drop, like, Twin, bro, fam, Nate was in there. He was standing on business. He like, yo, you gonna have to show me you made me. You sent your drop. It's not like this man just found out where you was, came in there on some, you knew what it was, bro. Come on, Sid. Come on, bro. I'm not, bro, if I don't want to fight a nigga, I'm not sending him my drop. Why, why'd you send him a drop? 
I ain't even want to fight you. When we box and everything, you never beat me, so stop. I don't know why you always want to keep fighting me. Why you want to take your anger out on me? No, and don't try to take your anger out on me no more right now, bro. I'm on tour. I'm doing my little thing. You feel me? I best. I don't even say nothing about y'all boys. I best stop being cool with y'all boys. Don't bring me up in y'all misery now, bro. I don't bother nobody. And, and y'all boys not saying the full story. I don't know the full story. So don't come here saying shit without saying nothing. And you know I'm not gay. So stop playing with me. That little TikTok shit I did. That's why I don't even be on TikTok no more, bro. Feel me? But... I'm gone. That's my side of the story. Now, you don't got, I don't know. Listen, bro. I'm not telling you I'm a great angel or this and that. I'm just telling you my side of the story. Yes, I had issues with getting angry. Yes, I had snap on people sometimes. I'm not perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm not no demon. Don't act like I don't help y'all or helped y'all or brought you and shared every single video and tried to bring y'all up with me as I went up. Don't ever try to make me look like a bad guy because we fell out over one issue. So because we fell out, everybody falls out over this and that. Don't don't try to bring up the bad things I did once once things come on. No, hell no. Nah. Don't do that. It's not going to work like that. But shout out to everybody rocking with me. I'm on tour right now. Shout out to every state. Shout out to everybody I met. And you can see and everybody I met personally could vouch for how, how, how nice of a person I am to them when I meet them. I don't think I'm bigger than anybody. I don't think I'm I don't even fucking think I'm famous, well. You feel me? So all that extra bullshit, we don't got to do it, bro. Y'all don't know what I go through. Y'all don't know how I be feeling inside, bro. I wasn't even going to respond back to this, but y'all don't know how bad and how, like, these people are trying to make me look, well. I'm not that, that guy. I'm not that person, well. Don't do that. The fuck? Hey, man. Okay, so that's... That's it for the video. Uh, he didn't even comment on the whole situation with him spitting on Jeff. He said he was going to. I had a feeling because it was two minutes left. He wasn't even. He probably forgot. Um, I ain't gonna lie. That was a whole bunch of bullshit. Sid didn't even like touch up on nothing. I don't really feel like he said anything. I don't really feel like he addressed anything. <laughs> like this was this, bro. I don't feel like he addressed anything, man. Um. This ain't my beat. This ain't my situation. You feel me? So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, sit. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna have my personal opinion about it. Like, sit. I do feel like you was wilding. I do feel like you know a lot of things Nate said was, it was just bad. Like, you gotta, you gotta be willing to look at it from other people's perspective, bro. But then again, this ain't, you know, that's not my life. These ain't, you know, these ain't my people's. You know, I don't know how everything they dynamic work and shit like that, but. Yeah, I don't really feel like Sid was talking about nothing in the video, man. And um, that's really it, bro. I know Jeff probably like, damn, why you ain't got <laughs> comment on you spitting on me and all that when Jeff was just trying to talk. You feel me? Jeff was just trying to talk. So, yeah, man. Social influencer beat. But if you're new to your channel, like, comment, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction video, man. You know, this was kind of this is kind of funny, especially when he got on the ground. Uh, we on the road to 1K. Simple as that. You know, I'm trying to stay consistent for y'all. I love y'all. You know, it's blessed TV in this bitch. I don't got to say nothing else. I'm cutting the motherfucking camera. I'm going to see y'all next time, man. Let's do it. I'm out this bitch. I ain't even going to tap that motherfucker. I'm just walk away. Tell y'all something. Blessed TV. I love blessed TV.